Pete again. Welcome viewers. Before I present the today's topic, allow me to apologize for the quality of these videos because we want to do it in a simple way and uh, we don't have sophisticated and expensive gadgets and this is a question of technology and uh, expenditure but all the same if we are able to view the images and follow these video lectures it is already good enough thank you the topic still on afghan law i would like to go to the second stage stage number two which is from the historical school of thought that we ride on is the anthropologists the anthropologists came in two forms a group known as cultural anthropology whose main interest was based on biological science and eugenics and evolution theory and they were to ascertain through certain experiments whether the African people in the history of humanity are still in the process of evolution. A theory that has been widely condemned, especially in Europe, in America and in Africa, because it was found to be misleading and also erroneous in looking at the Africans as humans that are still yet to achieve their full stature of the humanity. Another group was interested in legal anthropology and they came up with collection of practices that were considered binding and having force of law known as customary law of different people the customary law of the Igbo, the customary law of the Akans, the customary law of the Kamba people in Kenya, the customary law of the Nandi people in Kenya, and different tribes across Africa, North, South, West, and East, and Central. They couldn't cover all tribes as they named them, and also they appreciated the political organization of such groups and they also acknowledged that there was African legal systems that were operational that served the judicial systems and legal systems. There could not be a people, at least according to the anthropological school of thought, that would live in a human society without a legal framework that would be legitimate, acceptable, and also would enjoy certain authority of law. Every law, every legal system has got its limits and we see this again in other schools of thought and other stages of development. However, the so-called missionary that we have looked at in the previous video and the anthropologists that we are looking at today they happen to come from the european civilization the european understanding and thoughts about africa and that brought about the americans and so many university and high learning institutions that were developing keen interest in the African knowledge, in the African way of life, the African way of understanding law, rules and norms. Whether such norms were moral or were based on certain moral principles or they were backed by certain legal principles would be a topic for another day. What is so vital for us 
is to appreciate and acknowledge the historical evidence that affirm the existence of the African law, which is part of the global legal traditions or the legal families for those who study and are interested in the legal systems. This is a question of affirming a strong evidence that can back us up. And we have written books, Malonsky, and so many other European and American legal anthropologists that managed to put their findings into writing. The only failure on this part was backed by lack of legal methods, lack of legal procedures, and the procedures accepted for legal research methodology. Apart from that, the elements and facts revealed by the anthropologists can still be used as historical facts to bring documentary evidence to the knowledge about the African legal system and traditions. Thank you for watching. Peter here. And I thank all the bona fide followers for the thumb up as well as for the subscription. It is good. It gives us more morale to carry on with this academic, intellectual and scholarly debates on the matters of law. Bye for today and have a good day.